The Xiaomi Redmi Buds 5 series is here, and for now, there's just two models, the Redmi Buds 5 and the Redmi Buds 5 Pro. I love the Redmi Buds 4 series for how much value they brought to the table while being so cheap. The Redmi Buds 5 series is looking to do the same here, with the Buds 5 retailing at just $46 USD and the Buds 5 Pro at $78 worldwide. And I'm sure you can find these even cheaper through AliExpress, Amazon, or other shops in the upcoming weeks. But even at retail price, these are high-quality earbuds that offer a lot that competing brands are only offering for twice the price or more. They're not the most refined earbuds, but I think these should be the first earbuds to consider if you're trying to buy a new pair. Before I explain why and which one you should buy, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. It'll really help a ton in running and growing this channel. Plus, I'm giving one of these away to one of you guys on my Instagram, so make sure to follow at Hoyongwan and like the pinned post to get a chance to win this nice blue version of the Redmi Buds 5. Okay, so let's start with the design. The regular Buds 5 comes in three different colors and this is the black version. The charging case is very light and comes in this plastic square shape with this polycarbonate matte texture. The pairing buttons on the side, USB-C port and charging indicator light at the bottom. And when you open it, there's a status light strip and the earbuds themselves. You'll feel that the hinge is not the most satisfying to open because everything is just plastic, but it's still solid and very soft when closing. So the hinge overall is decent and doesn't feel super cheap or brittle, which is basically the story for the charging case as a whole. It's kind of boring, looks and feels a little bit cheap, but it is built very solid and I'm not worried about breaking this thing. The buds are very easy to take out and put back in, the magnets do their job well, and these buds are on par with any others in the market, especially in quality since they're all basically plastic to maintain their light weights. These are very comfortable to wear for long periods of time with all edges and corners being very rounded. I also think these look subtle and I like their standard designs so I don't look weird at the gym. I found these to be much more comfortable to wear than my Nothing Ear 2s. The buds are IP54 rated so they're good for runs and exercise, but note that this only applies to the buds and not the charging case. The Buds 5 Pro, on the other hand, comes in this pill-shaped charging case available in three different colors. This white version has this nice glossy marble texture to it, a lot like the case on the AirPods Pros. There's a USB-C port and pairing button at the bottom, status light strip on the front here, and the buds inside. Unlike the regular Buds 5, the Pro's case does feel premium because it is denser and more sophisticated inside with a much better built hinge that feels very solid. I'm even less worried about the durability here. Taking out the buds is easy, but the funny thing is that these are harder to put back in compared to the regular Buds 5. For the Buds 5 Pro, you have to line up each earbud stem to the little hole on each side. But if you're in a hurry and not looking, or if it's pitch black, it's sometimes pretty easy to mess up and not be able to put these back in for a few attempts. The buds themselves are very similar to the regular Buds 5. The Buds 5 Pro are also IP54 rated for the earbuds, but not for the case. But these buds do feel slightly more premium with a little bit more density and higher polish, especially for the texture strip and stems here. With all these things together, they are slightly more comfortable to wear than the regular Buds 5. Overall though, the Buds 5 Pro's hardware definitely feels more worth than its price, but the regular Buds 5 feels just right at their price tag. On the other side, these earbuds have a pretty similar set of features and connectivity. Both support Bluetooth 5.3 and Google Fast Pair for very easy pairing, both compatible with the Xiaomi Earbuds app, in-ear detection, custom touch controls, multiple transparency and ANC modes, and super important to me, dual connection support. A lot of these features often are only offered on earbuds that are at least $100 in most places, but Xiaomi is offering all these for these two well under the $100 price tag. Now, do these execute all these features super well? Not necessarily, but they are good enough at executing all these features, and the only issues really come down to software, which are fixable through updates. For example, the app doesn't show a list of which devices you're connected to, so you're not able to easily switch between all your paired devices. The touch tap controls don't have any audible feedback, so it's sometimes hard to tell if your taps worked or not. Sometimes the app bugs out thinking your earbuds aren't paired, so the ANC or transparency modes can't turn on. Like I said, these aren't huge issues and hopefully Xiaomi can fix them soon with its firmware and software updates. Of course, these models are in different tiers in a few ways. While the regular Buds 5 has three levels for both transparency and noise cancellation modes, the Buds 5 Pro has all these with adaptive and personalized noise cancellation too. You're able to change the EQ modes on the Buds 5 to focus on what you want, but the Buds 5 Pro supports an additional custom EQ mode, adaptive audio based on your surroundings, and immersive sound, which is Xiaomi's version of spatial audio. The standard Buds 5 has a 12.4mm dynamic driver and supports SBC and AAC Bluetooth codecs. The Buds 5 Pro has a coaxial dual driver design consisting of a 11mm base driver and a 10mm piezoelectric ceramic tweeter. They support the LDAC Bluetooth codec for less compression and higher res audio compared to the standard Buds 5. But weirdly enough, even though the Buds 5 Pro is noticeably more premium and feature rich, I've had more connectivity issues with these than the regular Buds 5. 
at home and at the office in a stationary spot, these are totally fine. But when I do the commuting test with subway trains going across and passing multiple underground stations, the Buzz 5 Pro cut in and out on me fairly often, and one time even disconnected on me due to all the interference. Most of the time, these are fine, but that's something to keep in mind. The good news is that this never happened with the standard Buds 5, which has had a very strong, consistent wireless connection. Now when these earbuds are well connected without issues, how do they actually sound? Surprisingly, even with just the SBC or AAC Bluetooth codecs, the standard Buds 5 sound pretty great. It's definitely not the cleanest audio in the market, so my podcasts aren't amazingly crispy, but there's not much noticeable compression here and sounds much better than what I experienced with the Buds 4 series. The bass isn't super impressive, but it's decent with some dynamic range too. I can actually differentiate between the different frequency sounds. They honestly sound just as good as my Nothing Ear 2s, which are more than three times the price. On top of that, they feature up to 46 decibels A and C, which definitely gets the job done for me indoors, outdoors, and during my work commutes. The Buds 5 Pro on paper are more capable, and if you listen really carefully, they do produce cleaner audio with less compression and distortion. They call this Ultra HD audio, and yes, they are a bit more satisfying to listen to vocals and podcasts, and there is a little bit more range here with some additional noise cancelling. The level of noise cancelling and the internals you get here is seriously impressive, and these sub $80 earbuds do just as well as earbuds $200 or more. But without the placebo effect and knowing these facts, the actual listening experience is very, very close to the standard Buds 5. There is very little difference in audio clarity, bass, noise cancelling, and even transparency modes, which says more about the Buds 5 than anything bad about the Buds 5 Pro. In the end, I'm very satisfied with both, but the Buds 5 definitely surprised me more considering its even lower price tag. In terms of the mic quality, the Redmi Buzz 5 come with a 2 mic setup while the Buzz 5 Pro come with a 3 mic setup. Both your buds support AI noise cancellation for phone calls which blocks out wind up to 6 meters per second for the Buzz 5 and up to 9 meters per second for the Buzz 5 Pro. I found both earbuds to be more than good enough for calls, but I did notice the Buzz 5 Pro recorded slightly cleaner audio with less distortion. What you're listening to right now is a mic test of the Buzz 5 in a relatively quiet indoor environment. Now you're listening to the Buzz 5 Pro in the same environment. All right, now we're outdoors in a busy area with the standard Redmi Buds 5. And this is the same busy environment with the Redmi Buds 5 Pro. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Okay, for battery, these two are very similar in estimates and in actual experience. Without ANC, Xiaomi says the Buds 5 can get 10 hours listening time and up to 40 hours with the charging case. And the Buds 5 Pro are estimated to be about the same with 10 hours of listening time and up to 38 hours with the charging case. In actual use with ANC on all the time, because that's how I use them, I got about 7 to 8 hours of actual listening time and maybe up to 32 hours of total time with the charging case for both models, which is really good across the board. The charging time isn't super impressive, but with just a 5 minute charge, you get 2 hours of listening time for both models. They're both very quick to charge up, so I'm not worried at all, and they're already full by the time I get back from a one hour meeting. The only downside here is that wireless charging isn't supported on either model. But besides that, I'm very satisfied with the battery life and charging here. Okay, so putting everything together, the Redmi Buzz 5 series are off to a great start. Amazing bargain prices to access really useful features from in ear detection, transparency modes, ANC, pretty great audio quality good microphones, and awesome battery life. Plus, unlike their phones, these will be pretty easy to buy anywhere worldwide, just like the Redmi Buds 4 series. Now, which one is for you? Well, I think everyone will be happy with the standard Buds 5. But if you are a really detailed listener and you want that slight extra boost in hardware design, audio quality, and you notice that slight difference in the mic test, I would recommend the Buds 5 Pro. I think they're both very much worth their price tags and already way more worth it than their competitors that are often two or three times the price. So if you are interested in any of these earbuds, all the affiliate links are down below. Let me know in the comments if you're picking one of these up, and if not, let me know the earbuds you prefer. Again, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and don't forget to join my Instagram giveaway for the blue version of the Redmi Buds 5. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.